So we'll we'll kind of go in blind together. I'm 100%. I know nothing about this game. Like, I knew some stuff about the first game ahead of time. And I had, like, played it here and there and seen it played. I've never watched anything about this game. I've never played it. I've never... Nothing. I know nothing. Completely blind playthrough. A place where souls may mend your ailing mind. This looks good. I'm the same with DS3 and kind of get it started getting that way with ER. That's crazy. So this is the one game that you don't. I know a lot of things with Elden Ring, I feel like, that I remember. But definitely not like the level of detail that you were with, with, the, with DS1. I remember like boss locations and where to get some items and stuff, but definitely not everything. Not even close. Your future, your very light. I feel like the cinematic is a significant step up from the first game. Will have meaning, and you won't even care. By then, you'll be something other than human. A thing that feeds on Does souls. this game have the same like humanity mechanic and like uh kindling and all that? I don't even know. Long ago, in a walled off land far to the north, a great king built a great kingdom. He's kinda creepy. They called it Drang Lake. Perhaps you're familiar. Is each game like a direct continuation of the previous one, or are they just kind of like separate but locations and stories? You will stand before its I gotta watch lore videos. <laughs> without really knowing why. Looks like the witch from Snow White. Wow, that looks good. One thing I can tell you, if you have 1.5 times more than the listed highest strength and deck stats for the two weapons you're using, you'll power stance like an ER, but it can be done with any weapons. Wow, really? Huh. I love a good power stance. I think I might just go full strength, because I feel like strength is like the best way to... to smoke things in this game. In these games. such a cool cinematic I don't really understand what's happening but it's cool to look at that is your fate the fate of the cursed and this is the game that Miyazaki did not direct right so it's pretty much uh, considered a little weaker uh, story wise and everything lore wise And I know this uh, prepare, not the last game was prepare to die. This is uh, Scholar of the First Sin. This Scholar of the First Sin edition, it said online, has some technical improvements and some like smoothing of animations and like enemy placements and stuff, but it's not a remaster. It's just like some minor technical updates, I guess, kinda. So it should be a little better than the OG DS2, but not like, it's not a remaster. So say you have a great sword that takes 30 strength, 20 dex, and a spear that takes 10 strength, 24 dex, 
at 45 strength, 36 dex, you'll be able to power stance them. Ah, so if you have, you just need more strength and dex than is required, basically, by a lot. Wow, this movement feels really different. Looks way better though, holy crap. What a step up. Oh no, those things are gonna murder me. I feel like my camera's moving too fast. I might have to lower my sensitivity again. That's not what that is. Screen, game options, camera sensitivity. Can I turn it all the way down? Yeah. I'm gonna have to get used to that. 0.5 times the highest requirement. That's kind of cool, I guess, because it's like, as long as you get your stats up, you're getting rewarded for it. Ew, why is the camera like that? It's almost like, you have to like move the camera to a certain position before it actually moves? Is that the auto adjust? Is that what that is? Yep, I think that's what it was. Yeah, I gotta play with that without that on. For sure. Well, hello there. <laughs> what seems to be the ruckus? By the way, you have a stat oh, called adaptability. Oh really? What does that face. mean? The face. Of the curse. It's an undead. Oh, I'm an undead right now. An undead has come to play. <laughs> that one lady is just completely normal looking and the other ones are like decrepit old witches. You spoke to that kind old dear, didn't you? <laughs> You're finished. You'll go hollow. Yes. Weird like that, it controls your invincibility frames. Wow, that's crazy. There's a stat for that? <laughs> what the heck? I feel like I want to level that all the way up. What is your name? They're scary. Oh, this is character creation now. Uh, what should my name be? Hmm. Johnson? Let's go with... Billy. No. Seamus. <laughs> oh man, what was my name in the first game? It was Gawade. Hmm. Can I do another night of the round table? Let's do... Let's do Percival. It's a beautiful name. Oh, at least you know your own. Did her voice just change? Pretty sure she was not yes, talking exactly like that before. For sharing. 
What are you giving me? It's a human effigy. What is that? Is that like humanity? Take a closer look. <clears throat> Who do you think it's supposed to be? Me, probably. Just a guess. Think back. Deep into your mind. Am I supposed to be the same character that I was in the first game in yes. this? Yes. It's an effigy of you. Yeah, I already said that. <laughs> like she can't even hear me. Alright. Class and gift. Class. Warrior. Battle scarred warrior, high strength, dexterity, skilled with weapons. Knight. Traveling knight, high HP and adaptability. Tough to take down. Finely skilled swordsman. Fights gracefully with strong weapons in both hands. High dexterity. Skilled with a bow. Fights well at ranges. High faith and miracles. Sorcerer. Well traveled explorer. Deprived. Hmm. Swordsman, knight, or warrior. So high strength and dex. So this is probably just the basic, you know, good stats for everything. You get what? Endurance, dex, and strength. And then this one gets strength, health, endurance. So knight is more focused on strength while warrior is both. Leveling it raises a stat in your status screen. It might be adaptability that's in all the technical stuff. When I actually get to look, I'll be able to tell you. But once you get the stat in the thing, 105, you have normal dodge rolls that are like DS1 kind of. Wow, that's kind of nuts. And that's just straight up dex. Right? I'm guessing that's what that hand logo is. Doesn't really tell me. Oh no, this one's high dex. Oh yeah, it is that. Okay. I do strength and health. Hmm, maybe we just do warrior. I'm just gonna do warrior. Gift. Ring of old slightly increases HP. A familiar looking effigy returns the hollowed life. So it's a humanity. Various items used to cure poison restore HP. Essential for anyone traveling. Ringolik. Homeward bone, seed of a tree of giants. A seed grown from a tree of giants. Inedible. Bonfire. Aesthetic. Cause no bonfire to raise the strength of nearby foes. Only for those channel who. Why would I want that? I <laughs> maybe abuse some that. Okay. Uh, I feel like the seed of a tree of giants seems secretly useful. Don't know what it's gonna do, but I feel like it'll help me eventually. Maybe. Or maybe I just take a human effigy. I don't know what the Seed of Tree of Giants does. It's multiplayer? Uh, Alright, screw that then. I'm just taking an effigy. Build? I gotta be thick again. Thick down bottom. Healing wares is best while servers are down. Rehehehealy. Alright. Face. Oh wow, you can do way more in this. <laughs> We're going with that. Wait, I can make it like bright colors. Let's go. Green, obviously. Eyebrow color is obviously going to be pink. Eye color is definitely red. Wait, no. Let's do yellow. How weird does that look? What if it's white? Purple? orange get a bunch of extra healing stuff yeah that seems good I guess makes sense oh that's a sick mustache let's go 
color should the mustache be? Red? Oh, for sure. Tattoo. Obviously a dragon. Oh, it goes right on my face? Insane. Let me get black so it stands out. It doesn't stand out that much. Oh, you can turn up the opacity. Super dark. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> All right, advanced settings. Oh, you can like actually change the shapes and everything. All right. <laughs> All people come here for the same reason. I look hilarious. To break the curse. You're no different, I should think. I should think. Hmm, doesn't stand a chance. Well, you never know. <laughs> Seems way creepier so far with these ladies. Go through the door and trot, trot along, along to the, to the kingdom. kingdom. Oh, I will. Would keep you from going home. Oh, I'll fool you no longer. You lose your souls, all of them, over and over. Yes, I will. Again. You definitely look like a Percival. I agree. <laughs> I think it's a great name. Great name, great look. All around, just great. Is it supposed to be like funny because they're saying I'm gonna die repeatedly? Like I know. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? We got a broken sword. I look absolutely ridiculous. This is where we came in. Can we go back out. Oh, this isn't where we came in. Lost soul of undead and torch. All right, let me, uh, well, that's where we came in. Can I go upstairs? What the heck is up here? There's a chest. Human effigy. Oh, okay, so you instantly get one of those. I think I didn't pick it. <laughs> Hello. You just laugh, okay. This what do you do? A link between Dranglaic. Dranglaic? Fair traveler. Why else would you visit this loss? My name is the old woman. Millibeth. Firekeeper. I am here. Firekeepers. It is what my mother did. Kingdom. The old long ago, but now they are lost. Scattered to the winds. The old wilderness, long ago, but now they She just keeps saying the same thing over and over, pretty much. What happens if I go back out here? Is there anything? Dude, the camera movement is so weird. It like doesn't move at all until you push it all the way across and then it starts like going faster. Is there like acceleration or something you can turn off? Be hard, -y hard. Thank you, D hard. You're the best. Let's go. Thank you for the raid. The D hardiest D hard there ever was. You absolute monster W's all around brother I guess this doesn't even apply to me 
Dude, whatever that thing is with the video, thank you for the raid, Red Saw Q4. You're the best. What does this say? All hires a place of respite, respite. You may also light torches on them. Ah. Burn? Oh, you just throw a human effigy in there? Ah, that's interesting. Man, we need to get a good uh we need to get a we good weapon that's not this broken sword. Before I get schwacked. There's already fog wall? What the heck? End one there? What is this, like an overworld or something? What is that guy doing? It doesn't look good. The game I'm playing is crazy. It seemed crazy. Who is this? Oh, that's a statue. I thought it was a guy. I thought it was a real life human being. What the heck is this way? Probably my worst idea ever to go this way. Majula? Majula Oblongada. Alligators are so ornery because of their Majula Oblongata. Fish straight yesterday was great. Now we're playing as those falls like a story during a game where your choices affect the outcome. Yeah, that game looked kind of nuts. I didn't really understand all of it because I was working while watching, so I wasn't like getting every detail, but... From what I saw, it seemed pretty cool. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, who's this guy? Dude, can I have that sword? What's up, Jim? With me? Yeah, I when want all your stuff. Up, you see, by this God awful statue. God -awful statue. Heavens above. Who thought it a good idea to pit it there? I don't know, man. I'm in quite a pickle now. I'm in quite a pickle now. See that statue? Gives me the willy. Ah, hey, you don't think? Yeah, definitely. That's 100% what happened. Guarantee it. Where's the statue? Oh, there's a guy in here? Oh wow, this sword is pretty useless, huh? Well, you chop him like eight times with the backstab. I got destroyed. Let's go. I just accidentally closed this on myself. <laughs> I'm watching some gameplay of Stray. It's a horror light puzzle platform that you play as a cat and that makes me want to play it. Yeah. Well, didn't see that coming. Yeah, it was like surprisingly good with like puzzles and stuff. Like, I kind of thought the whole draw of it was just going to be the fact that you play as a cat, but. It actually looks like a sick, like, platformer and, like, puzzle game. Oh, there's, like, a hundred! I guess I'm not supposed to go in here. <laughs> Did not see that coming. I thought there was only going to be, like, two. Things Betwixt. So Things Betwixt is just the lands between, literally. Except they pronounce it differently. Why is the movement so much heavier than the first game? <clears throat> 
that's the biggest thing I noticed so far. I just feel heavy. I can't like move as fast side to side or anything. I'll go over here to the right. I think there's a bonfire. Whoa. The music kind of slaps, huh? Bunch of NPCs. What's down there? Go talk to this person. She looks like she knows what she's doing. Or he. Can't tell what it is. It's a she. Are you the next mile? Try jumping. Good good call. Or good call. The next monarch there for show. I will remain by your side till this frail hope shatters. Take this with you. May it ease your journey. Flasks? Knew it. Go on and see the king. Is this lady like the uh what's her name from Elden Ring? That sits at the the grace with you? Melina, King Vendrick, may level up by the power of the Emerald Herald. Of the curtain, for misery will lead you to go. You will never meet the king with a soul. So is the king like the final boss in this game? He's like the Gwyn or Gwen or whatever his name was. Dun, 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 dun. Game looks dope. There's a guy up here too. Hey, bud. You're undead, aren't you? Yeah. You have He's the firekeeper of DS2. Ah. is Majula. It is a kind of settlement. A place where life is almost normal. Almost. And in Drang Lake these days. Drang Lake? There are a few places like that. Drang Lake. I am Solden. Solden? And like you, I lost everything. And now I'm here. You probably heard that it was possible to break the curse here. Well, that's not true at all. There's nothing here for you, me, or anybody. You sure? You know much about souls. I know everything about souls, bro. Even I'm not so Don't try to quiz me. I'm told that the soul is the essence of life itself. Anything living, sentient or no, supposedly has one. What we call the curse is traceable to the soul. Do you see what that means? They have to lose the soul to, to get rid of the curse? Alive, to walk this earth. That's the real curse right there. Good stuff, Solden. Will never die. At least I look good doing it. And that's quite a predicament, really. There are four beings in this land with giant souls. Four of them again? And wherever you it's always go four. here, you'll sooner or later come up against them. Okay. Each has a powerful soul. And a terrible cast. If that frightens you, then you ought to just give up right now. Like I have. Do you ever the journey of an up your face invaders from other if you need help, when you face danger, protection is you. Sure. The Blue Sentinels. That's a cool name. That is a what? People are weak. Let the Sentinels. Do you feel it suits me? Oh, he taught me a gesture. Do you find peace? One deaths. Oh, that counts my deaths. That's pretty cool. What does this one do? Letters are worn beyond any recognition. <clears throat> I 
<clears throat> no. <laughs> Wait, where's like my hot bar thing? Oh, this is it. I don't know what the what's a life gem? Oh, it restores HP. Nice. Box Estus recovery within a limited area. Alright, I accidentally used my Estus flash, so I wanted to go get that back real quick. <laughs> Hello, sir. Who are you? Oh, it doesn't matter. Just help me open this door. Alright, man. How hard can it be? So you said the movement feels heavier in DS2, which is because one, yes, Mizagi didn't work on DS2 because he was busy with Bloodborne at the time, and one of the two directors of DS2 worked on several Monster Hunter games, which I've seen gameplay that looks heavier and slower than Soulsborne by a lot. Yeah. That's a pretty good description of, uh,. Of Monster Hunter. I've played Monster Hunter. Um, it's definitely like a big, heavy, like everything slow. Like big attacks for everyone. Very like precise, slow movement. So yeah, that ma that checks out. Makes sense. Life gems. Apparently they're everywhere. So how the heck do we open this guy's door? I guess we have to find a key or something. Probably. Yeah, I did know that Miyazaki didn't work on this one. I did not know that a guy that made Monster Hunter did, though. That's new information to me. Hello. Uh, oh. well, welcome to my uh, shop. Oh, Salt sorry, armor. I, I could really you. You don't have anything of value well, to me, bro. I, I do hope I see. See what's upstairs. We like steal something from him. Oh, there's a chest. Like whatever's in here probably belongs to that guy, but I'm taking it. Titanite night shard. So we still need tight night to level things. But you can't fast slide in this game? Really? There's like a different button. That wouldn't really make sense, but I guess it's possible. What is this building? I knew that was going to be locked. It looked locked. Little piglet thing is trying to murder me. Holy crap, I do no damage. Alright, peace. Obviously, need to get a better weapon before I fight anything. Is that like an enemy? Oh, it's a cat I can talk to. Oh, cat, are we? And one without much time remaining. Just about ready to fall apart. Not exactly the time. Well, oh yes. So. Souls rings. Nothing soon. Guess I can enter the cat covenant. That's an option. Dude, where the heck do we get a weapon? I mean, I'm guessing I gotta unlock the door for that guy, but how the heck do we do it? Another covenant? Dude, what is there? 80 covenants right here at the beginning? Homeward bone. Can't even kill these things. What's down this hole? Oh, that's scary. I don't even know if I have enough health to survive that. Go pee real quick.
Monster Hunter feels super weighty, which also, if you think back to DS1 DLC, there was a lot of fast-moving enemies and everything, and Chester over by the Artoria shortcut looked like he even pulled straight from Bloodborne. I'm assuming these were Miyazaki's initial designs for the world of Yarnum, but they got thrown in as a sneak preview of sorts. Yeah, that's probably true. I mean, the fact that it was on, like, the later end of Dark Souls 1 and then kind of just was the whole theme of Dark, uh, Bloodborne all kind of checks out, so. <clears throat> That's pretty cool, though. Yeah, that guy, I remember I said that when I found that guy, was that he looked like he was straight out of Bloodborne, and, it's, and you were like, yeah. Kinda, might actually, probably is. Just a design they threw in late in Dark Souls. Pretty nuts. I feel like this is fake. Just kidding, it's not. I knew it all along. A lot of old seals residents look very yeah. They got that uh they got that Lovecraftian vibe for sure. Alright, I already talked to this guy. He's obviously mad about a statue. I don't want to open the statue blocks the way. That does not work. Try to climb up. No. Hoping that door like trigger all the enemies to pop out again or something. Oh, you can farm both of the heads from the sorcerer and non-sorcerer enemies. Hmm. Do that statue. Guess me that well he's. he's and they just look like they do on the enemies. <laughs> what? He doesn't really give a hint if there is one to how to get around it. Maybe I just gotta go a different way, I don't know. Right, uh wonder if I'm supposed to go I'm not supposed to go where all those fog walls are, am I? Maybe that's exactly what I'm supposed to do. Dun, 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 dun. Wait, where does this go? I didn't go here, did I? Just where I came from? <laughs> I don't know where this is. Just like... You can get the imp heads of pumpkin, octopus, and more in ER. Yeah! I remember getting those and not realizing. I kept being like, why does this look like... Why does that name sound familiar? And then I realized there was like a million different versions of it. Alright, we're back at things betwixt. Do I have to like light the torches here or something? Or does like doing something light the torches? Because there's only one torch lit right here. Does that mean I can go in here? Am I gonna die? I'm probably gonna die. <laughs> Alright, these guys are low health, so... Oh yeah, and it's teaching me how to play, so this is where I'm supposed to go. Got it. Nothing. Need a dash. Super weird animation for that. An enemy's back, critical hit. Oh, that's what I was supposed to do. <laughs> Alright, we're going up. Oh. 
Dagger. Gotta be better than a broken sword, right? Actually, not really. The broken sword did better damage. <laughs> a heavy attack. Switch equipped weapon. Oh, true. I guess I could just put both on, huh? Backstep. A little neutral B action. in here. It's gonna be like a knight or something. Feel it. Feel it in my bones. Move camera. Man, if I hadn't figured that out by now, then there's no hope. What? Who just said that? <laughs> what the heck? That was so creepy, dude. Is that like the bird owner of this nest? Well, this area is entirely optional, but the two slide ladders on DS2, you hold down a movement stick and hold the sprint dodge button. Oh, uh, you have to hold the movement. Okay, that makes sense. In DS1, you only had to hit the button. You didn't have to also hit the stick. Kind of nuts. So this whole area is just a tutorial? I guess? Build right weapon, two-handed. The left-handed, two-handed. Broken sword only. Broken sword only run. No deaths. Just kidding, I've already died on this run. Click the left stick while dashing for dashing jump. That's kind of janky, but we did it. Amber herb. This is a dead end. There's a ladder. And you like roll afterwards. That's gonna get me killed a lot. I am going to clear gaps and roll off the other side like 800 times during this playthrough. <laughs> no question. Falling plunging attack. Is there an enemy down here? Oh, there is. Easy. They changed the input for a couple things. That's so weird, man. Unless, like, everyone complains about a specific input, like, why would you change anything? <laughs> like, unless everybody who played the game said, man, this control for this is terrible. Like, there's no reason to change it. Very interesting choice. Okay, now we're up here. I could not get to before. Rocky gentlemen. Can I like jump over this? Nope. Sure. Ah, so close. Alright, we're back down. 
Can't go down here. I went in this fog and I came out up there. This one's blocked by a statue. Guess that's it. How the heck do I get over to that side? Can I jump from up here or something? I must be able to get that from up here, right? Dude, what does that mean? And why are they like from an anime? What do they want? Smooth, silky, something? Poison moss? That's not what they want. <laughs> Assuming it's something I don't have yet. You, you, give us smooth. Light sconces with a torch. I kind of figured that was a thing, but like, do I have a torch? I don't have a torch, do I? No. Oh, I just have a torch? It's not like a thing you have to find? Oh man, I didn't know that. Am I gonna go back and light them all? Crap. Wait, why is there a timer up? Do I have to light the torches that fast? That's kind of insane. You, you, give us smooth. Yeah, you, give us silky. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> this game's so weird, dude. <laughs> oh, there's one. Nice. Done to the sides. Anything else up here? Oh crap, there's one up there. All right, that did something, I guess. Time to go this way. here in world is five minutes of torch time you get oh that's kind of nuts so it doesn't stay lit forever you just have to touch one every once in a while interesting I think this is gonna hurt me yeah that's why I was healing wasn't one in there A torch in here oh there is that's why they let you come up here not because you can jump off like I thought <laughs> then what the statue is gonna break or something when I light the last one nothing happened did I miss one is there more ahead? No way I missed one, right? <clears throat> Be right back, okay. Did I miss one? No way, dude. I'm not buying it.
on this one, it's incredibly well hidden. I'm like a professional detective. Nothing slips past me. I have to go back further? Was there one, maybe? I don't recall. Nope. I have to go through all these areas to check. One right there. There's nothing to the side. One right there. What's that guy doing? There's a dude waiting for me on the ledge over there. Got this one. Got this one. One right here. Got that. That's the only one in here. And there's one up here. That's a statue thing. The heck did I miss one? You, you, give it move. Yes, you. Dude, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I don't know where I missed it. I walked through all these areas. I don't know how I could have. Unless there's one that's like super well hidden or something. Came this way already. And I jumped down bottom. Wait, there wasn't one in the uh... Oh no, my torch went out. Oh crap. This one's Liddy. But I can't relight my torch on that? There's not one in here or something stupid, is there? No. Alright, definitely got all the torches. I guess if something did happen, it wasn't right here. So we'll move on over here. Maybe there's more torches I have to light up by that uh, knight with the sword with the statue on the switch or something. Don't know. Pillows falling down. Over this side or something. Like back here, maybe? It's on the other side of that. This is where the guy is, right? Yeah. Is there a torch over here? I didn't think there was. No. There's not. It's a trap. No, it's just a slab that's abnormally sticking out of the ground for some reason. <laughs> you, you, give us smooth. My guy runs funny. <laughs> Alright, let's hit this Bonnie again. Oh, well, this one has a torch too. Can I light here? Guess not. Did me lighting the torches open this? I didn't even check if it was closed before, so I don't know. I'm already worried about chests being mimics. They're not going to do that to me this early, are they? Rusted coin. I remember this place and almost nothing else, dude. I feel like I watched you play this part. 
Because I, like, vaguely remember this area with the bonfire outside, but I don't remember anything else. I feel like when the game first came out, I watched you play this part. But then I don't think I watched any part other than that. Oh, it slams down. Didn't see that coming. Look, I just roll under this. I was like waiting for it to go all the way up. I thought it wasn't going to let me in for a second. Alright, where are we? Nothing over here. An item over that side and a chest down middle. Can I drop on that? Oh, that does look walkable. Do I go that way first? Or... Okay, so that goes outside. Go across this. Let's walk the plank a little bit here. This chest. What's inside? Human effigy. Oh, what a jump. I'm gonna burn soul whilst I'm dead. Can I walk in this? He is, so I guess. That's a big daddy. Forest of the Fallen Giants. What a sweet name, man. Seems like life gems are pretty uh, common. I wasn't sure if I should be like using them all the time or not, but... Seems like they're everywhere, so I guess they're, it's a good way to recover some health when you don't want to waste a flask. You have some time between enemies or whatever. Wow, he just swung so many times. I guess I just gotta go on the offensive with these guys. How much health does it actually give me? Oh, it's like health over time. That's pretty dope. I knew there was going to be an item back here. Easy. Pop another life gem. <laughs> Already took too many hits. Is this guy dead? He like, fell on his knees perfectly when he died. I like that it lets me throw the, or uh, it lets me pick up the item before they die in this game. Well, not before they die, before they disappear. In DS1, the item, like, wouldn't appear until they, like, completely disappeared. Which was a little bit annoying. Should I go this way or should I go back that other way where the big guy was? Let's try this, I guess. <clears throat> he climbs funny. Well, this looks like a place where a guy would be that's big. Broken straight sword. Man, can I get anything that's not broken? Besides this stupid dagger. Oh, these guys are all up? hilarious. Is 
There's even more that I hadn't gotten yet. Sheesh. Now somebody's throwing bombs at me. What the heck? I definitely feel like I should have a better weapon by now. There's too many enemies. <laughs> Holy crap, I can't dive. Oh man, we're dead. I don't like that you can't see image of item in DS2. Oh, really? Didn't know that was a thing. That's kind of crazy, though. Wonder why. Do I just run away? Oh, I'm dead. It's too late. Let's go. Will those guys climb the ladder? What? <laughs> it's when you pick item, not like DS1. Yeah. I didn't even pay attention to that, honestly. <laughs> My weapon sucks so bad. I need a new weapon. I don't know where I get one. I got that other, what did I get? Broken straight sword, so it's just the same thing. Literally no difference. This dagger sucks because I gotta be too close. Dude, those for DS2 decided DS1 was hard. We can make this game hard too. More enemies means a harder game, right? <laughs> Dude, that was way too many enemies. I was like, uh... See, when I see that many enemies at that point, I'm like, I'm just gonna walk past this. Like, it, it doesn't ever make me... Seeing that many enemies doesn't ever make me want to actually fight them all. It just makes me want to run away. Like, find a way around them. Which I feel like should probably not be the goal of the game, but... You know, they're the they're the designers. I'm just a random dude. The heck do I know? Oh, there's a bonfire right here. I ran right past this. The bonfire's lit, dude. I like ran right past that area and I was like, man, I wonder what's over that way. Turns out it's a bonfire that would have brought me back five feet away. I'm going up the ladder, screw those. Dude, the animation for climbing the ladders is incredible. Where the heck was that ladder? Oh, it's out here. Oh my, I'm dead. I knew that was coming. We're a DS gameplay and balance and the DS2 D devs did, obviously. <laughs> I think that all the time while I'm playing games and there's like some super obvious thing that they should have done and I'm just like, what the heck is going on here, dude? Like, how, how am I realizing that this was not a good idea and they did not... It doesn't let me, like, even when I have stamina left, it doesn't let me sprint a second time as quickly as Dark Souls 1 did. Which is super weird. You guys actually followed me up the steps? Dude, you just keep swinging. There we go. 
Did I just find a piece of armor or something it said? Oh, they all suck. Can I please get a new weapon though? That would be lovely. Does this dude automatically just climb down? Yeah, I guess so. Get him out. Rowing knife. Man, I was hoping it was a sword. I'm probably like supposed to do something to pre repair my broken sword or something and I just didn't do it. Bye. Can I just walk up here? Well, this item didn't think it would be reachable yet, but I was wrong. Oh, that guy just survived that fall. He's just like down there now. I thought that would kill him. He had like less health too. So I was wrong. Look at those hops, dude. Short sword, let's go. Anything's better than what I'm using right now. Wait, there wasn't like a ladder or something, was there? No, okay. Making sure. You can try to miss a shortcut or something. <clears throat> you let him. Oh! Will someone sell you weapon and armor? No, I didn't know that. I mean, I talked to everyone, but I didn't really look at like what they sold because when I was there, I didn't have any souls, so I just left because I was like, I can't afford anything anyway. <laughs> but when I go back there again, I'll check it out. I want this item. Another broken straight sword? Come on. You can't just enter the mist? <laughs> Is that a thing in this game? You can't go in the mist if there's a, like the enemies just hit you out of it? You don't become invincible? That's crazy. Can you warp from the beginning in this game? Or do you have to get like halfway through like in Dark Souls 1? No damage immunity? Holy crap, that's insane. How am I supposed to get in any fog walls? That's like 90% of the time I go on a fog wall. I'm getting chased by enemies and I just press the button. I'm never going to beat this. Oh, 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 that was close. <gasps> what is that guy doing? Oh no, there's a night guy. Give me this item. Got it. Oh no, there's an archer up here. I gotta kill some stuff. Oh no, I turned the wrong way. Now we got Robin Hood up here. Yeah, I think it's new compared to DS1. Yeah, it was definitely not like that in DS1. <laughs> oh no. Firebombs being thrown? I'm dead. Oh, he's over there? Dude, what a spot that guy has. What an animal. Holy. Nothing but respect for that gentleman. The best hiding spot in the game. Camping on a tree branch with fire bombs. Oh, in this game your health bar decreases each time you die, right? Until you hit a bonfire or whatever. 
Or is it until you get humanity back? in here? Oh, I can. Oh, jeez. Alright, those are some of the chasers. I knew there would be an item. <laughs> Wood bolt. I don't know what that even means. Gonna life jam it up. How difficult is it to parry in this game? Oh, I missed it by a lot. Human effigy, so your HP back full. Oh, uh, okay, okay. That's like the same thing as humanity, though, right? It goes down so your health gets halfway. Oh, uh, so there's like a limit on it. Got it. I wasn't sure if it would, like, go to nothing. Look at him up there, that sneaky beaver. <laughs> Dude, he's still throwing fire bombs. He's like two feet away. This guy's incredible. He's launching fire bombs at me close range. Just right in the face. Dude, he does not care. Give me an item for that at least. Nothing? Come on. Hollow infantry gloves. Alright. We got this far. Who's shooting at me? Oh, it's that guy. Kind of rude. Buckler? Oh, that's a new shield, I guess. Can we jump over this? <gasps> no. Are you gonna snipe me while I'm climbing ladders? Probably. Definitely gonna be a guy waiting by this item. Knew it. Thought you could sneak up on me? You thought you could step up over me to the streets? Get out of here! Ooh, bonfire. Is it me, or are they being more generous with bonfires in this game than they were in Dark Souls 1? What do you got, lady? Broken straight sword, hand axe, club, whatever that is. I don't want any of this. All your stuff sucks. Wait, what is this key she has? I feel like that's important. Opens blacksmith lumbergrass shop in Majula. Ah, so that's what I need. Knew it. Knew the key was for something. The heck is down there? E dude, I got it is. I already got it. I'm that I'm that smart. I am that smart. Don't even need help. I'm the best. Just kidding, I'm not. This looks just terrible. <laughs> this this area looks just awful and I hate it. Chop this guy up real quick. Oh! Where'd you come from, bozo? 
Oh no, I'm falling off. No, he hit me? Ugh. Oh. like this shop rest a bonfire, talk to him. Okay. I will do that. Can I, uh, can I, like, warp between bonfires whenever I want already? Travel. Oh, and it gives me a nice little, uh, picture. Oh, there's, like, ones you can choose from. That's interesting. I like the pictures. That helps me. Because in, like, Dark Souls 1, I was looking at the names and I had no idea. Oh, she's right here! Jeez. Freaking snuck up on me, huh? Hold on, let's see if there's anything I can steal before he comes back in. Yes, sir! Whatever's in this chest, short bow. I'm guessing uh, she's gonna tell me I can level up, but I lost all my souls, so I won't be able to. <laughs> oh, he's gone! Oh, he's just in here now. You stand back. The name's Lenica, and you Didn't we already talk? Man ought to Another useless traveler. I'm the one that opened your gate, bro. Your equipment. Let me have a look. I'm now playing DS2, trying to get the blue sword guy under me to have it. Dude, I want that sword. I think if it's the one you're, I'm, I think you're talking about. The terror at the firekeeper was hilarious, dude. She was just right there. Why is she standing there? What's a good sword to, like, start with? Like, should I get, like, a broadsword or something? Because I'm strength. I'll have to get one of them. That guy's rude. And I could try and just get my souls and go back and level up, I guess. I'm assuming that's what she's going to say. Bars to the Fallen Giants. Dude, do they always have an area that's based around giants? Giant mountaintops. Cave of the Giants. Carrying's easy. This game's easy. There's a sword in place of Lady. He is in fire. So OP early. Where do I get that, an OP sword? <clears throat> Where I am? It was not open from this side. Wait, so where can I go? Do I gotta go back up top? Oh, that doesn't look good. You can kill Blue Sword Guy right now and get his sword. Can you really? What? Wait, what does he do if I don't kill him, though? Is he, like, is he cool? Is he dope? Like, what's the drawback to murdering him? You get a fake one? What? What, like, it doesn't work as well or something? Not true? What's not true? That you get a fake one? Or that you get a sword? <laughs> See if I can level up now. Then I'll come back and I'll go back in that place. You get blue raid sword is fake sword of moonlight great sword. No, it's like supposed to be the moonlight sword. Uh, yeah, it does kind of look like the moonlight sword, I guess. She's over here now. Seek those whose names are unutterable. Their souls will once you have found them, so that hope will not. Okay. So how do I level up? 
The one he carries is fake. Oh, uh, but it's still like... Works. So I can't level up? <laughs> what the heck? But it's still perfectly reasonable? Okay. <laughs> that sword looks super cool. As soon as I saw that guy, I was like, man, that thing looks sick. Like Rana's moonlight greatsword that she gives you. Man, FromSoft loves climbing trees. But those rocks are gonna break eventually. Talk to Keeper more, you can level. Oh. Uh, wow, what a hesitation. He waited way too long. The big boy. <laughs> Easy clap. The OP sword has fallen giants. The second bonfire. Don't go down. Go back to door and see down. What? Will he just shoot this barrel if I stand next to it? Oh, he missed it. Oh, it doesn't blow up. Bye. Are you gonna come down here or what? Oh, he's got a fireball. Come here. Oh, wow. Look at him go. This freaking spear. Wow. That guy on top of the firebomb sucks. Oh, I missed. Oh, I can just climb up this ladder right here. <laughs> Didn't realize that. And there's a giant eagle monster dragon thing. Oh, I'm dead. Nice. <laughs> what the heck is that guy? Oops. When you open door to second by fire, see behind you and you'll see a place and go down. Are you setting a trap? Am I going to die? This door? Go behind me? Here? Oh. Dude, these guys swing their swords so many times in a row. Actually, crazy. The open door is uh, What? Oh, the boss D heart? Is that what that was in response to? Can I, like, make this jump? Human effigy, nice. Nothing here. 
Gotta drop down. Oh, I was trying to drop onto the close ledge, but that didn't work, obviously. <laughs> well, I forgot I had no health. Oops. I tried to parry for fun, but uh, I forgot that I had zero health, so I missed it and instantly died. GG. All right, I'm going back this way. Definitely like more of a delay from when you get hit to when. <gasps> to when you can roll again. I was gonna say. <laughs> 3k souls gone too. Dude, I'm just flushing souls down the toilet at this point. <clears throat> I don't wanna go down here, so I don't care. It's whatever. Me losing all my souls, all part of the experience. Dude, get this guy off me. Oh, he's right here? He's so fast. There's like, when you get hit in Dark Souls 1, basically like, the second the sword makes contact with you, you either get knocked into like, an animation of you like, staggering or whatever, or you can instantly just roll away, like, to safety. And in this game, you get hit, and then you're like, stuck, standing there for like, a second before you can actually roll away. It's really strange. Super like jarring to switch from the first game to the way this one works with it. All right, we're down bottom. A couple statues down here. Like a random. Whoa! Jeez! What the heck? He's really a turtle, huh? Oh no, I didn't roll sideways apparently. There we go. All right, so you always have to roll back or, or to the side against those guys. <laughs> I see. You don't, they just hit you with a giant hammer. What is this? Foot soldier shield. I definitely have like a better shield at this point. Ooh, that one looks cool. Buckler. Nobody's use that effectively with present attributes. Mm, of course I am. Oh no. I like got stuck right there and couldn't roll. Get my stamina back. Go, killed the big turtle man. Ew. 
you know, bunch of stuff. It's all like crappy armor though. Can I walk through this? It's probably gonna hurt me, right? Maybe not. <gasps> that is though. Oh! The heck did I just pick up? Was that a? The heck was that? I didn't even get to see. I picked it up really fast so I could run away. <laughs> I got a bunch of like armor and stuff, didn't I? Guess not. Oh, I got a hundred different pairs of gloves and nothing else. What the heck? Yeah, you understand why we only did one playthrough now. Not Miyazaki Souls game isn't a good Souls game. <laughs> I mean, it's like not that different. There's just like very minor things so far that it, you're just like, why? Like, <laughs> it's just like, why did they change that? Or why did... Like, there's just no reason to change certain things that they changed. Very weird. Ate that. Fire longsword? Sounds incredible to me. out did not want to get hit by that bum 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 do I even have any souls? I don't think so how do I get back up top now? Can you get across there somehow? Come from up top or something? I'd rather just use a freaking bone. Don't care. It ain't fire damage careful around barrels, dude. Yeah, I'd say. I'm 100% gonna kill myself with a barrel. It's coming. Why can't I burn it? I want to get my health back. Go back and talk to Fire Lady. Whatever her name is. Fire Mage? Fire... Fire Keeper. That's it. Oh, she's back over here now. Spirit is already broken. Perhaps he is a foreshadowing. Oh yeah. Tiny an ancient being that will mock your She imparts sap, provided you find her own. The sign you bear, and without soul, stay strong, even when you have Huh. Yes, let me level up. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I need like ten souls to level up a second time. Serious, bro. <laughs> oh man, you miss a lot, so I feel sad for you. There's guy in Majola. His name is on the armor. Later, he will sell you boss armor. If you kill him, he gives clothes that give you more souls. I already talked to him. I think I remember that name. That should level me up like two more times, right? Oh, I can only level up talking to her? It's weird. These fires were to go kill Blue Sword Man if you want the fake Moonlight Sword. Might just have to do that. Brother!
Where was he? He's like up here, right? I'll kill him and take the sword. I don't care. That's what I did for my Dark Souls 1 playthrough. I killed that merchant and got the Uji Katana like five minutes into the game. My brother was like, if you kill this guy right now, you can get the Uchi this early in the game. And I was like, say no more, fam. Absolutely smoked him. Guy's getting his peaches chopped off. Blue Moon Greatsword? Man, that's sick. You can get a sword by doing his quest, but it's not worth, so kill him. <laughs> I'm able to use it effectively. What do I need? Show item info. How do I see the stats required? Is that it at the bottom? So sick, dude. <laughs> this sword's awesome. It's just like the Dark Moon Great Sword in Elden Ring. From Ronnie's quest. I actually used that a little bit on my mage as like my melee, because I always kept the melee weapon. But it was just for fun, it wasn't actually because it was like <laughs> that good. <laughs> Alright, we can level up again now. All right, can I like burn a effigy now? No, I don't understand why or how that works, but interesting. I just wanted to get my health back. All right, now we can go. I already went down there. I already go upstairs. I'm gonna go back down here. Right, can't go this way. Oops. Oh jeez, you got me on the backhand. A follow through. Let me check the stats for the greatsword. It'll be when you're equipping it in your inventory. FSG make the area more easy. Oh, there it is. So it takes 28 strength. Sheesh. Can't go through this door, right? So, Where the heck do I gotta go? I don't have to drop down bottom, do I? That's the ladder I came down. This door's locked. That door's locked. Oh, right, this way. <laughs> 
where that big dude was. Wait, can I jump on that from here? Nineteen strength to two hand. Ooh, use FG and inventory to restore health. Oh, you have to do it in your in your inventory. You don't do it at the fire. Why is there like a burn option at the bonfire then? It's weird. I thought it, that was like a convenient way to not have to pop them outside of the bonfire, but I guess I was wrong. Alright, this is going to be bad because my fire sword is going to screw me up. Let's see if we can get him to follow us and hit the barrels or something. That's what I was hoping for. Oh, I did that too early, I guess? That was too late. <laughs> Can I even kill this guy right now? Oh, what? There's three of them? Holy crap, I'm like fat rolling. Can't roll. There we go. Now what? What? No way, dude! <laughs> Oh man, that was a joke. I like rolled backwards and he still just hit me while I was rolling. Dude, the dodging in this feels so bad compared to the first game. It's so weird, man. It's gonna take me a while to get used to. That killed me? What? <laughs> that was like a three foot drop. I could do that in real life. Come on. Get out of here. Oh, well, there goes all those souls. Check your stat screen real quick when you're safe. I got 17 strength. I only need two more strength to two hand that big great sword. That's kind of nuts. Don't let me roll at all. Dude, I am rolling so slowly. I gotta strip all my armor off. I didn't even like... Oh no, there's a guy up here. 
Dude, that is like, holy smokes. See AGL, you'll want that at least 105. AGL. ADP? AGL, is it somewhere over here? Oh, I see it now, 85. Okay, got it. Take off great sword for now. Yeah, I wasn't gonna use it. I just kind of like had it there. Oh, that increases your weight. I didn't even realize. I thought whatever like wasn't actually out didn't affect it. So I can't hit him, but he can hit me from up there. Interesting. The big boss guy just gone now. Does he come back later or something, probably? Where's this go? Should I jump on this guy's head? ADP is the stat levels AL AGL. Okay, got it. So I'm gonna level that a little bit so I can get it up so I can roll better. It feels bad right now. Like <laughs> it, w dude. It, it takes me like three to five business days to roll when I'm when I'm uh, fat rolling. It's crazy. I gotta watch a whole episode of SpongeBob before I freaking finish the roll animation. Is that guy pooping? He's taking a dump. Whoa, my shield didn't work. Shield sucks. Wait, were they using those crossbows like to try and shoot me? <laughs> Is that what just happened? Wait, what did that say? Use? I can use it? Oh, that's so dope. What was the shield I got? Looks a little better. Oh, I have my menu up still. I was wondering why I couldn't climb the ladder. Womp. In here? It's not open from this side. Are there any doors in this place that open? Fires is lockstone and in inventory. I don't know what that means. Where else in the corner behind the turtle dude up top? One's near the firebomb guy. But there's something back there? Well, that's the pooper. You want to blow those up. Okay. These. Oh, there's a hole in the wall. Got it. Uh, okay. Do I have a bow? I do. I'm able to use item effectively with present attributes. Who asked you? Oh, I can't shoot it anyway. Okay, so I'm going to have to hit it. Am I going to die? I'm probably going to die. <laughs> oh man all right that's a dope shortcut though works for me fire bombs yeah that would have been a good idea that's a good call i 
I just I just bit the bullet, just went for it. There's even more over here. Are you guys follow me? No, they're not. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Guys everywhere. Oh, there's a firebomb guy up top. Oh no. I'm gonna talk to Jimmy. Hello there. Tram well, I hope you have a very He's just talking to me while I'm beating the crap out of this guy. Prey upon travelers like yourself. Oh yes, you, there's treasure in there for certain. But the, entrance the entrance locks, locks from behind. If you do it right, you can blow that up from the bonfire side with a well-aimed fire bomb. Really? Like the the fire goes through the wall and hits it? That's kind of nuts. Rather brusque fellow tried to swipe the loot for him. I still have the gent's ring. I'll leave this one to you. I'll leave this. All right, he's repeating now. Oh man, this place is huge. Oh, I'm dead. Dude, once that starts, there's like no escaping it. Life gem, homeward bone. Uh. Holy crap, that's gonna frustrate me so much against like difficult bosses. The rolling. And also the shielding, because I'm like blocking right there and it just doesn't work if he swings his sword. <laughs> it's kind of nuts. Where does this go? Nowhere? Okay. The fog wall right there. Item over here. Hidden giant turtle man. Wow. The delay between attacking and rolling is insanely long. You do it right. Well, I already read that. That's crazy. If you attack at all, you are locked out of rolling for literally like three full seconds. <laughs> like, it just does nothing when you press the button. That is very weird after playing the other games. In this direction, there's a guy sitting right there. These guys are hitting a tree. Oh, look at him go. What? What? These are the best enemies in the game. What the heck, dude? Those guys are insane. Alas, nothing happened. Is the light on fire or something? Large soul lost undead. Ahem. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> is he gonna chase me over here? That guy did not want to get backstabbed. There's these two clowns. Oh, that instantly hit me. And they're fast. I'm done with this, man. Come on. Put the shield down. Let me get behind you. But he legit just shields forever until you... Until you, uh, attack so you can try and block it and counter it. That's crazy! Where the heck does that go? That's an item. Maybe I'll just ignore the turtle. Is this a giant statue of a sword? Halberd? Ooh. Oh, there's 150 enemies coming at me right now. That was wild. Can't believe that many enemies are in the game. In one little spot. One little two foot spot. Where's he going? Wow, look how fast he attacks. Holy crap, man. Gonna play that like super slow and just get one hit at a time. Alright. You're gonna be an actual boss in here or we're about to find out. I don't know, it's just the other side of this area. Fire arrow. Now we get this shortcut open. Just gonna go down to where that big monster thing is. Looks <coughs> that way. Oh no, it goes even further down. Where are we going? Oh, this looks like a boss. There's a guy here. Blocked? Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Oh, guess I should have went to the bonfire. What is that? What? What is this thing? Uh oh. Oh wow, he's got a reach on him, does he? Oh, I couldn't dodge. Man, 
Man, he just keeps kicking, huh? Oh, he's swinging the hands again. His arm just fall off? Oh no, it killed me! He had no health! Oh dude, I should have healed. What the heck? I did not expect the foot to stop. <laughs> I thought when he ripped his own arm off that like I had an opening to uh, hit him a couple times, so I just unloaded. I guess he rips his own arm off and continues fighting simultaneously like an absolute psychopath. It's alright, this guy's easy, he sucks. That is an extremely easy boss. And I messed it up and died. Classic. Is this? I can summon someone? What? What? Why did I fall over? The heck is going on? Kill him, Cell Sword Lewitt. <laughs> He's using shields? That looks insane. Alright, let's do this. Dude, the dodging is so hard to get used to after playing the first game so much. Stuck. Let him hit that guy a couple times. Did the arm thing again. It's a fake. He's gonna hit me. Oh, he uses it as a weapon? That is savage. I get my endurance back. Forgot to dodge by accident. No way. I didn't have enough endurance. Endurance? That must have been what it was. I definitely dodged right there. All good. Soul of the Last Giant Soldier Key. Huh. What does that do? Oh, does it open this door right here? <laughs> oh, look at him inside the wall. Oh, it doesn't open this? Alright. Weird, but... <laughs> Maybe it's the other side? Of, uh, this area up here? That it opens? Hold on. Ba -dum, ba -dum, bum, bum, ba -dum. I'm gonna use these souls real quick before I get killed by something stupid.
Hello, ma'am. Here to see light, however fit. There you go. I don't have any more. Alright. Now I can use that sword two-handed. And I still have more. Let's do... Let's just do 20 strength right off the rip. <laughs> the manager is sweating. So I can use this thing now. Oh man, that's cool. Am I right that this key opens the other side? But he always gets me with the backhand. I'm somehow never expecting it. Knew it. Looks like a place where a bonfire would be. Got him. Ring of Restoration? I haven't even put a ring on yet. What does this do? Gradually restores HP. Covenant ring for Apostles of Blue. What does that do? I don't know what that does, but I have it on. Carry this guy or something. Doesn't seem that way. Unless I'm just bad, which is true. Wait, is this like the guy that just fought with me at the boss? Going for it. I think I can do it. I don't. Produce the symbol. <gasps> what? <laughs> what was that? He just pulled a lightsaber out. What the heck is going on, dude? That came out of nowhere, bro. I didn't like that at all. I thought he was going to one-shot me. Produce the symbol of the king. What the heck is the symbol of the king? Nothing I have, I guess. I get better pants? All my armor I found is terrible. All right, uh, where do I go now? In that sickly green, she might have been. Where the heck do I get? Hello? 
I don't know where to go. It wasn't that way, right? That was all just a shortcut. Let's go back over here. And find... Where else am I supposed to go? This isn't enough to level up again, is it? No. And I barely need any more, though. I'm just gonna pop one. Oh, at least you can do multiple at once. Is that enough? Or did I need 1900? I think I need a 1900. Wait, is that the thing I'm looking for? No. What does this put up? Quick load, HP, and resistances. I guess let's do some of this. I need some equip load, right? Or wait, I should upload or upgrade this too. Didn't even affect the the stat yet. Dun, 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 dun. The heck is that one guy I talked to? I already forget. Oh, it's a cat. <laughs> you do have a rather tight <clears throat> item. I an item. I mean the evil eye absorbs HP from each defeated foe, reduces damage from falling. Ooh, I might need that. Easier to be detected by enemies, easier to connect to players who who chose same god. What? You hear the voices of foes. Nothing suited you, I presume. No. I don't wanna buy anything from you, cat. Hello. Hello. Kite shield, twin dragon, great shield. Falconer armor. What? Well, I, I do hope I see you again. I do hope I see you again. All right. I don't know where to go next. Go talk to this guy. If he's got anything cool to say. Yeah. I'm already in this covenant. You see the, there was one you made, but don't venture too far. Oh, he doesn't help any. 13 deaths. And in that sickly green, she might have been. Things betwixt. Is there another way to go there? Or should I just go back to where that guy with the sword was? Can I, like, magically get through there now or something? Wait, what's this way? Is this where the things betwixt is? Yes. I think so. The things betwixt. The lands between. It's all the same thing. So fast. This guy's dead now. Little statue in front of this. Can I like get this barrel to explode on it or something? Oh. 
need to up my endurance a lot. Jeez, hit the wall really hard. Is there anything in these rooms? I think there's got to be something of value. The fake wall or something. Maybe not. It's like a broken wall that blows up when you throw something at it. Or something along those lines. Nope. <laughs> you look so confused. Yeah, I am. I don't know where to go. I have no idea what I'm doing. Guess not here. Bean arrow, bean arrow, bean arrow. Get it all, get it all online. Guess I should go back where I was. There must be something there. <laughs> Maybe another way you can go after you kill the boss that I didn't see. I don't know. Or maybe if I run in the front of this, there's, I can go that other direction now or something. Let's find out. Like this? No. Alright, so that was wrong. That was just a chest. Let's go back there. I'm gonna go back to uh, like where that tree was. Out here somewhere. I didn't go everywhere down here, did I? I think. What did this guy want me to do again? I don't even remember. He just told me to like be careful or whatever. Yeah, he didn't really give me any good information. I don't think I went this way though, right? Oh, uh, the gate closes. That's what he told you. Okay. Let's see now. Oh man, there's 900 enemies here too. Not lying when you said they just threw a hundred enemies at you every time. That's crazy. That's like the worst thing to fight in these games is just like a mob of really weak enemies because they just all swing like repeatedly. <laughs> And then you end up using all your flasks, which is exactly what I just did. What? What is swinging? Oh. About top, I guess? Where are we going? Well, this is back at that guy. Oh, I thought that was going to be fake. That seemed like a good idea. Wish I could roll into all this stuff. That's 
that's a ladder right there. Can't get up that? For reals? I could definitely make that jump. That's interesting. Can you walk up this? Or something? No, guess not. Oh, it's those guys hitting the tree. Do I gotta like jump down and talk to this guy and be like, made it back? What up, boy? Well, I, I hope that brave warrior didn't come a cropper. Be careful out there. Let's talk. Oh. Light it sign soapstone. Out for help to one another. What's the fissure between worlds? Oh, is it like a summoning stone well, thing? I hope that. Be that careful. I can't even use. Uh huh. Is this just permanently closed now, so I just like lost the whole game? <laughs> I gotta go back over to this tree. Oh, you can just climb right here? Why did I not know that? That's way easier. Than everything I was trying to do. Light crossbow. That could be useful. Bunch of enemies right there. Light a torch. Jeez, Ovi, you scared me, bud. What's wrong, pal? <laughs> Stole the name of soldier. Ow, oh, don't scratch me. Ovi's hungry. Pick up item. Firebomb. I did use my only one of those, so that works. <clears throat> What'd we get? Mailbreaker infantry helm. Look at this sword. <laughs> it's just like bouncing up and down. I guess it can't sit still on top of the chest. So it just like keeps moving. Pretty funny. Where does this go? <laughs> oh man, that was amazing. Do I have like the key to this now or something? Oh, the soldier key opens it. Nice. Oh, there's another one? Dub. Royal Swordsman armor. Yeah, those guys are kind of sick looking. No cool helmets. Put this on. What do I got? Imported manchets. Man manchets. 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 I don't freaking know. You got any cool shields yet? Sounds like way better, but can I even use it? No, not really. Like heavier now. Does this go? Blocked? I think using rocks to block things apparently. Oh, there's a bunch of these guys. I'm gonna get this one to come down here so I don't get projectiled while I'm fighting up top. Can you come down here, sir? Yes, 
guess not. Oh, I can just walk up here. <laughs> Did not realize that. That's my bad, that's my bad. Wood arrow? Oh man, what's gonna be in here? Scared. Ooh, another boss? What, is it that guy that smoked me earlier? It is. Yeah, he gave me the business. <laughs> but I guess that was, was that like staged? Are you supposed to die at that first encounter? He looks mean. I'm gonna have to dodge his sword and it's not gonna go well because I can't dodge in this game. Wait, he's floating? He can fly? That doesn't seem fair. Oh yeah, that's bad. Gonna keep doing that. No way, he got me on that. You gotta be like super perfect with your dodges here. Oh no, I did that way too early. Crap, man. Get hit right now. Oh, I had no stamina left, that's why. I was so confused at first. Oh, he didn't even go for the charge there, just the Oh, he got me. Dang it, dude. That was new. Oh, I missed. Crap! Pop it faster! in charge. Woo! That was close. Almost got me there. so close to hitting me. I had no stamina left, so I couldn't dodge a third time. Dang, he got me.
Nice, we did it. First try. Let's go. Easy clap. Woo-wee! Let's hold the Pursuer. Ring of Blades. You love to see it. That guy stinks. It actually wasn't that bad. <laughs> he looked way scarier than he was. His, like, his attacks were very, like, readable and punishable. He didn't really attack quickly either. He only had that one, like, flurry thing where he did three in a row. So you really just had to exhaust all your uh, dodges and then it's like stay patient. What's on here? Nothing. Oh, is there going to be a bird that flies me away? The one that just brought that guy? I guess. <laughs> going to take me somewhere new or something? Man, they love having birds fly you places in these games, huh? The Dark Souls special. Man, I look cool. Pink eyebrows, red mustache, the lost Bastille. Bonfire lit. Am I the Joker? No, I just have green hair. A red mustache. I guess I do kind of look like him, huh? Dull Ember Key? Human effigy. This enemy looks big and scary. Am I even supposed to be here? Doesn't seem like it. I'll travel back to what's her face. 19,000 souls I gotta get rid of. Why can't I level up at any bonfire? Why do I have to come to her? Super weird. Will this level my AGL? To 86. 87. Put all the way up to 89. Just put it right there. Then we'll do uh, one dex. Uh, two dex. One more strength. Then we'll add another endurance because I feel like I have no endurance. That levels us a lot. What am I up to now? Level 35 already? Easy. the heck was that item I got? Crap. What am I hitting? Uh, I got something of value. These are not key items. Where are my key items? Wait, I got a new ring? Increases physical attack. Excuse me? That's busted. <laughs> the heck? How good is this halberd? Oh man, that's pretty good. Thrusting sword. Great sword, it's pretty crazy too, but I still need more to one hand it. Lance? Oh wow, that's pretty good. <laughs> Look how tiny it is. <laughs> Oh man, that's too funny. And I feel like I should like have an update from someone now or something. Can you like upgrade my weapons? We can. 
we need Titanite Shard and 500 souls. Should I level up this weapon? Or my greatsword? I don't know. over here. I don't even remember. <clears throat> Has this been open? I don't think I went in here. This thing. Traption does not move. I gotta like do something to activate it or something. Have I been this way? I don't think I have. Give me some monster down here that murders me in one hit. Kinda scared. Ooh, a chest. Crimson Parma? A shield? Pretty cool. What is this gonna do? Can I open this? No. I can't get in here either, so that was pointless, I guess. I guess that's what happens What happens when you turn this contraption up here that it says I can't turn. Or it's when you pull this. Okay, never mind. Found it. Where the heck am I? Broken Thief Sword. I do like swords. Can I open this? Or can I pull this? Guess not. Maybe it just opens the same door again to go back the other way, I guess. That makes sense. It's already open, so I couldn't pull it. Hides. Hides. Powerful. Whoa, who's this guy? Hey, bud. Man. Man, you want to talk? No? He doesn't want to talk? Alright, whatever. Oh, that. That doesn't look good. Are you going to kill me? Oh, you kind of suck. That was easy. I thought he was going to be insane. Oh, maybe I wasn't even supposed to be here yet. Bonfire lit. <clears throat> Forgot about the part where they respawn when you uh, hit the bonfire. Just coincidentally, pretty much the main mechanic of the game. Easy clap. Dropped an item this time. Nice. I guess I can't talk to those guys. Are they just like ghosts that like sit here for no reason or something? There's gonna be some like secret reason why they're here. Oh, he freaking followed me. Got me. Don't this is coming back to me now. You remember this now? I don't even know if this is where I'm supposed to be, but the enemies aren't that hard. So I feel like if I um, if I go somewhere I'm not supposed to be yet, then the enemies would be like 
Like I wouldn't do much damage to them. Easy. Cracked orb thing. Found something. What does this do? Does it raise it up or something? Ah, so if I would have went over there without finding this, then I would have just like not been able to progress, I guess. Boyd's talisman. I'm gonna have to fight multiple of these at once now. Three? What the heck? What kind of crap is this? Is it another one of those things? I guess not. What's that chest doing down there? Well, that one's in a hallway. I didn't even realize. Well, this one's just got a big two-handy sword. Will he follow me out here? I hope so. Here you go, buddy. <gasps> I knew that was gonna happen. What time is it? Oh, it's almost six. All right, I'm gonna quit anyway. I'll pick up here tomorrow. All right, guys. I'm gonna quit for now. Um, that's gonna be it for the part one of Dark Souls 2 for the first time ever.